There's a saying that goes like this. As long as you have a cell phone, you're never alone. This video, however, affirms that saying. Before we dig in, let's have some background details of our devices. The Technopovo 3 Plus was announced August 2019 at the friendly price of $146 or 53,000 Naira. And it is the first smartphone with triple AI camera in the Povo series lineup. The Infinix S5 was launched in October 2019, just a month difference from the Povo 3 Plus. And it is the first phone from Infinix to have four cameras as it sets a new standard for Infinix smartphone design. The available price is 53,000 Naira or $146. And speaking of the design, the Povo 3 Plus has a modern and stylish design and primarily made out of plastic. It weighs about 209 grams. The front is made of glass and having a gradient finish with a U-shaped notch that houses a single selfie camera. The Infinix S5 is rather an improved design that has caused quite a buzz in the mobile market. Without doubt, the S5 has a design that is going to have you take a second look. You probably might think it's from a different brand. The beautiful design is a plastic build, both the rear and the frame. It weighs 178 grams with the glass front having the punch hole selfie camera. The weight of both phones are quite noticeable when you hold both of them, with the Provo 3 Plus a little heavier than the Infinix S5. Both smartphones have an eye-catchy design and I really love the way they reflect, giving a shiny glow when tilted. I love my phones like that. At the back of the phones is where the differences begin. The Infinix S5 has a quad camera setup alongside a quad LED flashlight. And the Povo 3 Plus is a triple camera strength and a quad LED flashlight. Both smartphones have a fingerprint scanner placed correctly and brightly shaped. So let's move a bit further and get our phones turned on. Both phones tend to have the same power on time of 27 seconds and unlocking the phone with fingerprint takes about 0.5 seconds, which is absolutely fast. Coming to the display on both devices, it's another major point to look out for in smartphones. Looking at the trendy display now, it's more like a competition where mobile phone brands are keen on making every smartphone have a cinema view. The Povo 3 Plus has a 6.35 inch AMOLED display with a resolution of 720 by 1548 pixels. It offers full vision with interesting 19 is to 5 is to 9 H to H aspect. Under the hood is a 4000 mAh battery for the Infinix S5 and a bigger 6000 mAh battery is available on the Povo 3 Plus making it a powerhouse phone. Helio P22 chipset is what is available on both devices and is clocked at 2.0 GHz. 4 GB of RAM and 64 GB internal storage is also available on both phones. Both devices have the same configuration. It's almost like no one is better than the other. You can expand your memory up to 512 gig with external memory. I really like to find out which phone outperforms the other. So I am going to do an app opening speed test to see if this actually translates to everyday usage of the phone. Launching the Instagram application. The Infinix S5 opens faster while the Provo 3 Plus comes later. The second application is a YouTube app and they both open at the same time. And then I moved on to try the Oxford game. And again, it's a tie. Now let's see about their camera. The Infinix S5 has a quad camera combination of 16 megapixel main shooter. 5 megapixel ultra wide lens, a 2 megapixel depth sensor and another 2 megapixel for macro lens. The Provo 3 Plus is a triple camera setup of 13 megapixel main shooter, 8 megapixel ultra wide and a 2 megapixel depth sensor lens. The both shoot videos at 1080p and at 30 frames per second. These are some sample pictures taken from both camera. Images from the S5 appear more saturated compared to the Provo 3 Plus. Images appear real on the Provo 3 Plus. High dynamic range is available on both, but looking closely to the images, the Provo 3 Plus does a good job. In the video shooting, the Provo 3 Plus tends to do very well compared to the S5 in terms of stabilization. High dynamic range is blown out and they both try to maintain a detailed color, but the S5 still appears a bit saturated. They are both good, 1080p video resolution and at 30 frames per second. So I am going to end with some good and bad side of these phones. 
after a careful detailed comparison. This is my overview of the Techno Pupo 3 Plus. The large display makes viewing and playing games stress-free and equipped with a good selfie camera that is perfect for photos, having an artificial intelligence to automatically beautify your image and make it more pleasing. It comes with a high-grade CPU and GPU. It is not a slow phone, multitasking is smooth and is not sluggish. Not to mention the battery, the 6000 mAh power that extends your gaming and viewing experience for longer hours without charging. For the cons of the Provo 3 Plus, it's not equipped with fast charging ability, neither supports a wireless charging. About the Infinix S5, the design is modern looking and personally I commend the brand for stepping up the notch. It is light and well built. The selfie camera is flexible and captured fairly detailed images. Although a bit saturated, I recall having the same camera test on the Infinix S4. So probably Infinix should put away a little saturation in their lens. The battery in real life is decent and lasted well, but on the flip side, there is no quick charge nor wireless charging too. It takes about 2 hours or more to boost your battery and lastly, the camera on the rear don't appeal so much. It is a quad camera but I expected more. I wish Infinix could put more in their camera build, probably in the next flagship device and also cut off some blue ways. The custom UI on the Infinix makes art show up randomly and of course, it's available on both phones. But aside all that, the Infinix S5 is good and the Bovo 3 Plus is also great and they are both recommendable. So to help you make a purchase decision, it's at your discretion because they are really good choices to make. At 53k, you can flex your phone in style. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button before you leave and kindly drop a comment below at what you think I may likely want to ask any question. Thank you for watching the video. You can also like and share this video to a friend, someone out there who needs to make a purchase decision. And a big, big thank you for subscribing to my channel. I'll see you soon.